Hello. How are you? Hey, Ruby. Hey. How you doing, Ruby? Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> so Ruby is almost, how old are you going to be soon? Five. So she's almost five. She was diagnosed with an ASD, and that's really where the journey began. Ruby's hole was thought to be too large for this, the trans catheter closure to be likely to be successful. So the surgical option was ultimately decided upon, and then there was COVID. Crazy as it sounds, and that's the exact wording we used when we had sent our family and friends an email after. We said, as crazy as it sounds, COVID was a really good time to do this. She's not missing school. She's not missing camp. She's not missing birthday parties. She's not missing play date. She's not missing anything. I mean, I think if you had to pick a safe place to be during a pandemic, it's probably a hospital because all the doctors and nurses, everybody it was in full PPE, housekeeping, meal prep, you know, everyone made us feel safe. You know, we had a private room. I, I think once families come to the either whether it be the outpatient offices where we're seeing patients or for inpatient stays, I think families appreciate uh, the organizational effort to keep things safe is still hard because the parents only go through this once. We do this on a regular basis. You know, were we nervous? Yes. Um, you know, the day before I was just saying to my husband, like, are we sure we should be doing this now? And it turns out it was a great decision and we felt very safe. Pandemic or not, our job is to take the best possible care of patients and the patient's family.